Hello everyone. This is a completely random reading. This is for anyone. So I'm going to just shuffle out the cards here and see what comes out. What is going on? What is it you need to know? Of course it's always about love. Yeah, Because somebody here is kind of feeling like there's not a lot of hope. Eight of Swords. It's someone trapped in their head. <laughs> Should I or shouldn't I? Someone who kind of keeps going back and forth in their head. But it's a self-imposed trap. Yeah. So I do see someone here fantasizing. So it's likely nothing too negative. Fantasizing and romanticizing. Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, very interesting. Yeah. This is someone who wants to reach out. They're not sure the other person will feel the same. But they are thinking romantic thoughts. They know a good thing when they see it. <laughs> Should I or shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's have a look. So we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel this is someone here who's, you know, definitely it has to do with someone who maybe feels responsible for something and they can't stop thinking about it. It's bothering them. Yeah, they want to reach out. Now, it could be someone who owes someone some money, but I really feel it's more like someone didn't reciprocate. Okay, they weren't sharing of themselves and I do feel they're feeling guilty and they can't stop thinking and I feel they want to reach out. They're not so sure you're, you know, going to reply to them here. <laughs> Someone but it should have been a little more generous with their time, their energy and maybe their emotions with that seven of cups. But they're kind of looking at how something played out and they keep going over it in their head, but it's really bothering them. Yeah, so I see a cycle ending. This, this is something that didn't go in their favor. So I feel they feel responsible as why it didn't. So yeah, I don't know what's happened here. Yeah, maybe they rejected you, ignored you, or they just weren't sure, but they are emotionally drained. Yeah, they want to start something here. This is someone who's probably worried you'll re you won't reciprocate or you'll just reject them or ignore them. Maybe that's what they did. So they might have been going through something. Yeah, this is, there's definitely been that three of swords. There's been some heartache. So I feel this is someone who's been taken advantage of before. So maybe that's how they felt, but they are really bothered by it. Okay, it's bothering them. They want to get this off their chest. They're not quite sure, you know, what to say or what to do, but they are so drained. They, they're going to offer you something solid. You see, this is an energy of being more generous. They should have been more generous in some way, or it's just the way something started, how it started out. But there's definitely been some heartache. They probably feel bad. Maybe they hurt your feelings. Yeah, let's have a look at the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who is kind of looking at the situation. And I do feel maybe they were dragging their feet or they were more focused on money or something else. But they were very apprehensive to begin with. But I do feel they were sincere. Okay, now this could be somebody coming in with a very sincere apology. I feel they were focused on their money too much. There's someone here who may have taken advantage of them. So this is someone who's definitely suffered some heartache. I can feel it. They got burdens and baggage, but I do think they're going to release it. But they want to get this off their chest with you. So... Yeah, something to do with the timing. Like I say, they were focused on other things here. Yeah, we have an empress. This is somebody fairly well off. They're very comfortable, but they're looking at this. And like I say, they're back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I? They're very apprehensive, but they're assessing the situation. They're kind of reassessing more than likely. They actually hope when they reach out that this is, you know, that they get what they want from this, which is for you to take this opportunity. So this is someone who just either didn't come in right or they just weren't generous. The time wasn't right. Maybe they didn't have a lot of money um, and possibly they do now, a windfall of abundance. But look at this. Yeah, this is someone being cautious, being careful. See, they kept all their feelings to themselves. That's what I feel. They kept all their feelings to themselves. I feel this is someone who definitely has been hurt or taken advantage of. So I feel it's the fear of being taken advantage of again. And it looks like they had just ended a cycle with someone. Okay. And, uh, yeah, something didn't go in their favor. But I feel with all this luck and timing, this person's hopeful. They're trying to feel hopeful. But that procrastination and back and forth. Yeah, they're very careful what they can wish for. Oh, look at that. This is someone here who sees the, the Queen of Pentacles. 
This is a feminine, somebody who's grounded, practical, sensible, someone who is very generous, kind, compassionate, you see. So I feel whatever happened here, they either weren't generous or they just weren't emotional. They just, they kept all their feelings to themselves because they were being, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's an energy if it's just too good to be true, you know. And that's where I feel because I do feel this is someone who's been hurt. Someone has hurt this person and taken advantage of. And I feel the timing wasn't right. But I do feel this is someone who's, you know, feels responsible. It's really bothering them. They want to get it off their chest, you see, with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is someone looking at all the possibilities. And they're kind of looking and keep going over in their head how it all played out and all what happened. So I feel this person's likely coming in to explain. Uh, and a lot of sincerity here. Yeah, they are someone who takes their time. <laughs> so generally, I don't, I mean, they could be an Aries with a emperor, but the emperor is often a person who's mastered all the elements of the king. So it really could be anyone. But they're looking at this person, you see. Yeah, so they, they see you as someone who pulls their weight, like they see this. But I do feel this is somebody here who, I mean, they're fantasizing and they're romanticizing. But this is someone who knows a good thing when they see it. And I feel this person feels like they blew it. So, yeah, now we have some Aries energy. Now, this could be yourself. You're just doing your own thing. You're successful. You're taking care of yourself. Very nice. Yeah, but I do feel it's a something that kind of ended and I do feel it didn't go in their favor and I don't think it went in anyone's favor here because I feel the energy. You're both romanticizing, fantasizing, looking at all the opportunities here. See, I feel it's this is two people where it's an opportunity that, you know, you both see, know a good thing when you see it. But the problem is, is this person had uh, just ended something, I feel, with someone who took advantage of them, likely for their money. So that's what they're worried about, someone trying to take advantage of them. But it's bothering them because this person knows. You know, they want to come in and tell you the truth. Yeah, they want to tell you the truth. I think this truth is going to be, I don't think it's going to be unexpected. But I do feel they want to come in solid and reliable. They didn't come in right. They didn't explain things right or express themselves. See, they want to start off, you know, they want to start over is what I feel. But they want to get something going. And I do feel this is someone who's feeling a lot happier. They really want to get this off their chest. Um, yeah, it's really bothering them. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> This is the King of Pentacles, the power couple, two people who know a good thing when they see it, two people who look into the future and kind of fantasize and look to see if they see themselves with each other. You may not because of this, with this feminine energy, you may not feel that way because of this. They weren't reciprocating or they weren't generous with their feelings, time or energy. In fact, I feel you may have reached out to this person at some point and then they may have even ignored you because of this. So someone I feel they could just couldn't face it at the time talking to you. But I feel you're going to know. You're going to have a little aha moment here. You probably know who this is. And it really could be anyone. But they are in a definitely a better space now. They're planning and preparing here. So I do feel this is someone who's definitely been hurt. And I feel inadvertently what they did is they hurt you. So could be just hurt feelings. I'm not seeing third party. It's possible for some of you, but I really feel like this is someone who was really focusing a lot on their finances. The time wasn't right. They didn't have a lot to give. And in fact, they may not have had a lot of time. So somebody who works a lot, they could be a business owner or just somebody who's really determined to be full blown, you know, wealthy. Yeah, they definitely work a lot. And that's another thing, too, I feel with this person. But it's an energy of this person. They've been doing a little work on themselves. And while they're working, they're doing a lot of thinking. This is someone rinse and repeat, too. So I do feel this person's looking at this. They're looking at this. And I do think this person really does want to connect. So, I mean, it could be just an energy where you've got someone here where you're waiting for them to come in and, you know, spend some time with you. But I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, the way it's facing, you may not feel the same now, you know, because I do see you were looking at the possibilities and you may also be looking at how it played out, kind of what happened here. But it's like it, 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 whatever it is, it didn't go in either one of yours favor. Nobody got what they wanted out of this, you know. Yeah, this person might be kind of wondering, too, if you if you have 
uh, moved on here. It's possible you may have other options. They're kind of looking at all the possibilities of how this could play out or all what's happened here. Yeah, they're definitely someone who's going within. They're taking a little pause, putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. So, and I feel it's telling you to do that, okay? Because I do think this is someone who's been taken advantage of before and they were very hurt by it. So there definitely was a lot of baggage. The time wasn't right. They haven't quite let it all go. Yeah, but boy, is it bothering them. I mean, it could be really bothering you too, where you may be thinking about this. It really bothered you. It may have weighed heavily on you. Yeah, because I do feel you are someone who pulls your weight. You're sensible, practical. It looks like you have your own money. Um, it looks like you're, you know, you're very inspired here too with the queen of inspiration. You know exactly what you want. You know a good thing when you see it. But I feel like you have your own money. You have your own you know, uh, bills to pay, you have your own thing going on here. So I feel like you're trying not to focus on it because it bothers you, okay? I feel like you're trying to change your perspective. You're trying to focus on the positive. Yeah, see, there it is. But I feel this person too, they're trying to focus on all the positive things, um, not so much anything negative. Yeah, I can see here, this is an energy of somebody pushing through that fear, being bold, you see? going off on this path. So maybe you took a risk and reached out and this person didn't reciprocate. So I feel it bothered you. I, I really feel for the feminine, it's really bothered you. Yeah, so you can see taking the lessons learned. So you learned something from this, but I feel now you are it's an energy of avoiding. Uh, maybe you're avoiding this person, okay? Um, yeah, maybe talking to them or you feel they're avoiding you. And that's what it looks like. You reached out, you were generous and they're seeing it. I can tell you it's bothering them a lot. So it's both of you. Yeah. So I do see there's been some lessons learned about taking a leap of faith, um, taking a risk, rushing in to communicate. So because I feel like you took the risk here, but I feel this is somebody here who definitely... I mean, the heartache, the they hurt your feelings. I feel this is someone who, you know, I feel they want to work something out here too. Yeah, I, I, they do work a lot too. And it could be someone who just wasn't giving you any time or energy. And maybe that's what happened with this person. They may have had a, a situation with someone else. Okay. Somebody they might have been partnered up with at the time likely in the past because the cycle's over um, where they were doing all the work paying all the bills and the other person wasn't so like i say they've gone through their own thing but the the baggage the burden the it, it's just a weight on someone's shoulders yeah so it's like both of you you keep thinking about this and i do think you're thinking about each other here more than likely but if you're not and you've just changed your focus you're just moving on taking those lessons with you you're leaving it in the past but i can see the reflection on it so you learned something from this and maybe some things about yourself yeah but there it is see waiting see waiting for the truth this is why i feel it's not going to be a surprise feel like you waited for this person to reach out and i do think they're going to come in you're going to there's going to be some kind of reciprocity so yeah this is someone who feels they missed a magical opportunity here and it could be yourself thinking that too like they say maybe you took a risk and reached out when you maybe you shouldn't okay um because I and I do feel some of you don't really see a future with this person anymore. But I got to tell you, I really feel if this person comes in, you might change your mind here because I feel like you're still kind of waiting for this truth. Uh, and I do see a victory, a situation coming to fruition. This is somebody coming in with a higher vibrational uh, energy, a lot happier. So I think they're going to do something that makes you happy. I see happiness and joy. Yeah. See, after a period of time, you may feel different. Put the shoe on the other foot, how you'd feel if someone took advantage of you financially. And they may have even seeing other people, keeping their options open. You see? So this person, I do feel that, you know, there's an energy here where uh, they may have even taken a risk with someone here. You know, and they learn some valuable lessons about themselves as well, because I see them doing some inner work. They do work a lot. So there's something about this person's work ethic. Now, this is a person who's very structured, very disciplined. You know, they're very logical. So this is somebody who could be kind of set in their ways a little bit. 
So I do feel it's energy of trying something different, putting in more effort. Okay, but I do feel after a period of time, um, you might feel differently about this once this person tells you. I feel they're coming in to communicate. Now, it may take a little time for this person to explain their situation. So I do think you're going to have to be kind of calm and just wait to see what they have to say. But yeah, they're coming back around. They've gone through a lot of change. So it's a lot of change here for this person and change for the better, even financially. Okay, but I feel for the most part, it's just... Uh, the growth this person's gone through. So it does look like somebody coming around here. Yeah, they're very logical. They're coming in to speak the truth. I feel they feel confident in a decision. They want to talk and they want to make, they're going to make themselves very clear. Okay. Yeah. But I do feel they have a patience about them too. Yeah. My goodness. Let's have another look at the emperor. Yeah, see, they are kind of compassionate. They're mastering their feelings and emotions. They've been doing a little a little work. Yeah, look at that. They're going to ask you out. Now, this person could be in your social circle. Um, they are coming around, and I feel they've gone through financial change. But I feel what this person wants to know is if you've changed how you feel. They're, I feel there's just going to be a lot of talk. Okay, but I do feel there's some sort of gathering or opportunity here. Some kind of positive news. So this is person's finding something out here. Yeah, they've cut somebody out. They've definitely cut someone out. Um, I do feel out of that social circle as well. Now, you might even know this person. It's possible for some of you. But I really feel what's happened is, is you took a risk, I feel, yourself. You were bold. Okay, now if it's not yourself, it has to do with another person. Yeah, you see, there it is, a place where people socialize, where they congregate. So this is someone who kept all their feelings to themselves. They might have come across as a little cold, harsh, sharp uh, when this all happened. But I do feel this is someone who can't stop thinking about it. They're in their head. Uh, they're replaying the situation over and over. <laughs> yeah. See, they, they're being careful what they wish for here. So I do feel this is someone who kept all their you know, all their feelings to themselves, but they are in their head fantasizing and romanticizing and they're looking at how it all played out. Yeah, see, it had to do with cooperation, compromise, going down this path, compatibility. So this is somebody who kind of just, I feel like you, this connection that you had, I feel like if you had a date with this person or you were, you know, maybe connected with them somewhere, uh, I feel like this person... Uh, really didn't reciprocate a lot here. I mean, if it was a date or something, maybe they made you pay. I don't know. But I feel they've definitely been taken advantage. Yeah, there's the dating card. They're coming back around. They're going to ask you out. They're, and I do see a large, a very big apology. Okay. And maybe even a few. They want to get this off their chest. It's bothering them. Because they are looking at how it all played out and what happened. So this is someone who sees... You know, it has to do with opportunity. I feel they had this opportunity with you, okay? But this is also someone who's been hurt, taken advantage of. So I, this is why I feel they're worried someone's an opportunist because I feel they've had that issue uh, and maybe even several times. Yeah, they're definitely single. They're likely going to ask you if you still are or they're finding out through other people. So they definitely want to ask you out and talk to you and, you know, it's heartfelt, I do feel. But this is somebody here, I feel, who, you know, it's a situation where this person kind of uh, shares how they feel uh, when they're kind of ready. So I do feel they're very personal. They only share so much information. So they have a tendency to keep things to themselves a little bit, you see. They don't share of themselves so quickly. So, but yeah, so you can see this person putting on the brakes. They've learned something about themselves here. But I do feel they're very much in control of their emotions. Uh, I do feel this is someone who put on the brakes, possibly from someone else. Maybe they were dating too. Yeah, and maybe yourself. But wow, yeah, see morals, values, lifestyle, habits, the way they conducted themselves. It's really bothering. They feel like a fool. I can tell you right now they feel like a fool. Uh, they they kind of came across as cold, judgmental. I feel they were judging you. 
um, because of something else that happened. But, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to put in some effort here. They're trying something different. So they've been soul searching, see, going within, within themselves, looking for clues and answer. And whatever happened keeps replaying in their head. They probably having a little trouble sleeping. Yeah. See, it's saying to trust their intuition. Into me, I see. See, they've learned something about themselves. They work too much. They work too much. And that's maybe what happened in a past relationship. Yeah, so I don't know what happened with the other situation. But like I say, it's someone who doesn't want to repeat mistakes of the past. So, uh, And that's what I feel. They were dealing with something. They weren't quite over it. It was still weighing heavily on them. So I feel like they went out on a date and they feel like a fool because I feel this is someone who knew they probably shouldn't. They probably should have just said thank but no thanks and wait for another time rain check and they didn't do that so they took her i feel they probably took a risk and feel like a fool yeah see they weren't very emotionally invested so i feel you see they were still invested in something else and i do feel about their money someone here tried to take advantage or did so it's possible they didn't have a lot of money because of it too so that's another thing. But you can see putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally. You see, they want to get this off their chest. They, and I do feel this person wants you to feel better uh, as well. Okay. So I do see an opportunity, another invitation. So whether you take this opportunity or not, yeah, it has to do with a spark. So they'll look to see if there's that spark still there. Very passionate person, very creative yeah, see the spark between two people. Yeah, the physical connection or that, you know, that physical attraction. So they might be a little unsure that maybe why, why you're attracted to them or why you're interested. Because they're thinking, they can't stop thinking. And I do feel they have questions themselves here. They're pretty straight up. They'll say it like it is. But they, in a kind and compassionate way, I can see the energy. So, yeah, so they're taming the beast within themselves. Yeah, that beast. Yeah. But they are definitely feeling a little more confident about communicating. So there is kindness, compassion. They may be asking for forgiveness. You know, I'm really sorry, but uh, this person may have seen you as an opportunist because they've been taken advantage of. And this is what I really feel. And the person probably should have just told you the truth in the beginning and just said, you know, this is what happened. This is how I feel but they didn't. Yeah, so like I say, things may have moved very quickly here, but I do think this person's coming in to talk, to communicate, okay? Yeah, you might be open to talk. I feel like that feminine, you'll likely be open to at least talk to this person. I see you looking on the past. I feel this is something that could be worth forgiving, okay? I don't feel there was a third party, um, but I do feel this is someone who, for some of you, they may have dated somebody else, and, and put the brakes on because they felt something was off with that person and started something with you and they maybe they weren't ready so yeah there it is the offer see there there it's something very generous here <laughs> putting their best foot forward so it does look like there's another scenario yeah you know i feel when i see these energies we all need to learn to be more kind and compassionate i mean this person did learn something about themselves and i feel you may have too but i do think this is someone who probably should have took a little bit more time to get to know you but i feel they just kind of moved on to avoid a disaster like you had a date and i think it was kind of a disaster maybe you told other people and it's been relayed to them yeah and i i actually feel they've been quite straight up about that i don't think this person's blaming you <laughs> okay i don't feel this is the blame game no uh, this person blames themselves. So that's why I feel a heartfelt apology. You see, this person had a little bit of fear uh, because of this. And it's also sometimes a person who kind of looks at, like, wanting to know why you would be interested in them. So, yeah. But I do think this is someone who often keeps a lot of their feelings to themselves. They don't really put themselves out there in an emotional way generally. But, yeah. So I feel the fear is that uh, the things that are hidden... Uh, with this person is is they should have told you the truth about the other person somebody took advantage of them fa financially okay so that's why see this is reflecting on the past that's their greatest fear but they're doing the shadow work facing that fear 
Uh, uh, they're ready to do this again. And I do think they want to talk. So I do see them coming in right. Yeah, very emotional too. You see, they're leveling up. So someone ready for love again. So yeah, they're looking at all the possibilities, romanticizing. And I also feel there was a lack of romance or uh, lack of emotional feelings or togetherness if you had a date with this person. <laughs> Mm hmm. I actually feel somebody was treating them more like an option, but it could be them. They may have been with a partner where they work too much, where they know it's their own fault. They only have themselves to blame. But I do feel this is someone who kind of blamed you for what some somebody else did. They are an emperor. So, yeah, you see. So I do see the energy of waiting. It's just sort of waiting. They probably feel it's too late and probably should just move on. But I do think they're going to take a risk and possibly reach out. Yeah, they're going to ask you out. I feel there's some kind of positive news here too. Some very positive news of a gathering. Looks like some kind of invitation, but they're going to tell you the truth. There could be other people involved or too many people talking or maybe somebody told them you were involved with other people. Who knows what the problem was, okay? Yeah, but I really feel this is a person who's been taken advantage of. And I can see that, the exploitation, someone exploited them and took advantage. So this is someone who's not about to ever let that happen again. They're definitely someone who they learned something from that. But the only problem with it is, is when they're ready to start something new, they blamed you for what another person did. Yeah, they kept it to themselves, but you can see um, this person going within. See, they're going within into me, I see. So they see, they know, they work too much. And I feel they didn't put a lot of effort into the date that you may have had, okay, or any time spent. And I don't think they put a lot of effort into their past relationship. I'm seeing someone who works a lot. They're very focused on money, okay. They probably have a lot on their plate and work multiple jobs. They often get overwhelmed. So they definitely got overwhelmed emotionally, I feel, um, uh, during this date as well. So... Yeah, they may have not showed it. It's all internal. See, it's all internal. They hit it. They hit it very well. But it's about facing that fear of what happened. They have to they have, they didn't want to face it is what I feel. Okay? Or they didn't really heal from it, but I do feel, feel they have. So there they are. They're now feeling differently, pulling back and looking at things differently. So they definitely have a different perspective. So they're ready to try something different. So this is someone who knows as well, too. If they want to get into a relationship, they have to work less and put more effort into the relationship, put more effort into their love life. So whoever this person was, you likely know who they are. I do feel this is mature people. I mean, it's emperor and empress energy. So it doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, there's the empress. See, trusting your inner knowing. I feel like you already know. I feel like you already have been told by people you already know. Okay? <laughs> you know. You're just keeping it to yourself. You may have even uh, known of this when you had that date. So like I say, maybe it's bothering you because you knew and you didn't say anything. But we have an emperor and an empress here. Yeah. Very lovely, yeah. See, knowing the truth. I feel like you know the truth or you're going to find it out uh, through other people or since that time because I see a transition sometime in between where you found out the truth of what happened to this person. So I do feel like you're waiting. You waited for the truth. There's the truth. You're going to get the truth. So this is a lovely energy. It's an energy where the truth shall set someone free. So... Yeah, see, it's about investing and being patient, showing that they're invested. See, it's about no longer investing in the past, leaving it in the past where it belongs. So victory, success. I do feel like you're going to be very discerning. You're trusting your inner knowing. But I feel like you already know. You know the answers you're seeking. <laughs> mm -hmm. You might have told said something. It's an energy of come to me right or don't come to me at all. It's likely been... You may have said that to somebody, they didn't come in right, or they weren't being fair, whatever happened. Um, I actually feel it's been relayed to them. So if they do come in, make sure you speak the truth. Don't deny it. <laughs> if you said something like that, okay? So interesting enough, yeah. They're stable financially. So they're very calm, practical, sensible. Yeah. So I do feel this is somebody here who's, you know, 
they're, they're definitely toning down the emperor energy. So that emperor energy is connected to their finances, that workaholic, possibly a business owner or a high paying job, a position. So they do have a lot on their plate, but they're hoping this goes in their favor. See the cycles over a new cycle beginning. I see a windfall of abundance. So this person's coming in and they're going to tell you too, you know, about their financial situation. So there may have been something financial that they said to you that maybe turned you off a little bit, put you off. You may have related to someone else, so it's really bugging them, you know. And I think it was real, and you may have told people it was really bothering you. So they're definitely finding out about it. So yeah, see, looking on the past with kindness, compassion, forgiveness. I think you have some feelings for this person. This is the King and Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you could get together here. Yeah, see the apology. But this is somebody who just kind of goes with the flow, you know. Yeah, they're single. They I feel they've been single for a while and probably even for a while before you connected with this person. But I definitely feel that, you know, they, and I do see this person asking people if you're still single because there's been this time in between. You see? Yeah, so they're definitely coming in to invest, but they, this is an energy of the way you conduct yourself, your morals, your values. You see, they see you somebody here, you know, that you have good morals, good values, the way you conduct yourself. You're a good person uh, kind of energy. <laughs> they have a little Taurus energy. So I do think that you will be on the same page. I feel like you just never had an opportunity to. Okay. But I think they feel like a fool the way they conducted themselves. I really do. Yeah, it looks as though this person's got that uh, emperor energy, whether they have Aries in their chart or not. But you both may. You both have that bold energy of pushing through fear. <laughs> you see? And that's why I feel they're going to come in. Yeah, they want to talk. They want to communicate. Um, so I do see some sort of an agreement. I feel like you're going to get on the page and make some kind of an agreement here to just kind of explore this and kind of see where it goes, okay? Because I do think this is somebody who's kind of, they kind of made up their mind they're just going to be single possibly too, but I do feel, and yourself too, you may be the person who just feels like you want to be single or you told someone you want to, but I think they're going to come in and talk anyway. It's like they need to hear it for themselves. <laughs> they might maybe want to know why. Yeah, see, they're manifesting. There's a mirroring here between the two of you because you can see that back and forth. But this is someone who has everything they need to manifest their desires. They have everything they need but love. And I do feel this is someone who, who really wants this. I really do, yeah. They're coming in right, putting their best foot forward. This is someone who, you know, they're going to dress nice and um, come in properly. They're going to come in solid. So they're going to build the foundation. But I see some kind of an agreement between the two of you. Okay, to just kind of explore this and just date for a while, maybe in a traditional manner, see if the two of you are on the same page. So there they are. You know, see, both of you, you mirror. You both, you both have that bold energy. Maybe you both will you feel like a fool. Yeah, you might feel like a fool because you may have reached out to this person at some time and took a risk and then they ignored you. Maybe they didn't answer you or pick up the phone um, because something just felt off to them. They were off. They were definitely off. Yeah, but there it is. See, they're coming in to take the lead. So they are traditional. They know they're the one that needs to start it. So let this person just start it, the empress. So you've learned something from this to let them start it. So, because this is a person sometimes who, when people come after them and chase them because they've been taken advantage of before by being too generous, okay, or someone starts being generous with them, they get very suspicious. So, yeah, but I feel they've worked this out. I feel they have it all under control. Uh, they're going to come in and take the lead. This could actually go somewhere, but I feel like you're going to, you know, I actually feel they're going to reach out and go, do you want to just go somewhere? This person will pick you up. They will pick you up and take you home, okay? So I do feel they're respectful uh, in that way. But I feel the agreement's more like just to um, 
just kind of go with this and just kind of see what happens. But I do think this could work out. Um, they're going to put more effort in. They know. They've learned the lessons. But see, that this is someone who's been looking at the path they've been on. And they're looking at how everything played out and why. So they want to tell you why, for one thing. And they should have. This is some woulda, coulda, shoulda. They should have just told you, okay, why they put on the brakes. But they like to, they want to be able to take the lead this time around. Let them take the lead, okay? So... Yeah, I find this quite fascinating, and it's a, it looks like a bit of a story here, because you can see this time in between from someone taking a, lip, a risk, taking a leap of faith, and then putting on the brakes and moving on to avoid a disaster. So I actually feel, I don't know if you've reconnected or you were someplace with this person, you avoided them or they avoided you, because it's right in the center here, you know, but I feel it's an energy of avoiding talking and uh, you know maybe they did maybe they didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable okay so there's some sort of avoidance there whether it's happened after the in the initial event or um since then but yeah i i feel this person's going within <laughs> they know they know this person knows you're a good person i th i feel inside after all this thinking but i think it bothers them that they hurt you Okay, but I do feel this is somebody, there's love here, um, but I feel this is somebody who loves somebody a lot and they got very hurt um, because they took advantage of them and it looks like financially and I, it looks like pretty serious too. So, because it looks like they didn't have a whole lot of money, you know, or they acted that way <laughs> because of what's happened. You probably knew something was off, but I actually feel it's just energy of feeling uncomfortable. Uh, with something that they said so I, that's why i see the avoidance so this is one of these things i feel where the lessons are learned uh, one thing for sure is to take more time to get to know someone because they probably rushed into a relationship with this person fell in love very quickly because they're very passionate and also very emotional so this is why i feel this person did but this is someone who promised themselves never to do that again um, they may have even had a strict rule that they broke themselves. Because um, it almost looks like the feminine is the one that got this going. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you're going to let them take the lead. And I feel they will because I do see this person. They're just kind of at that last leg of this journey here uh, with the clue, see. They're doing a little internal work, but they are working on something in their finances. They're perfecting their craft. So now if this is someone you met and they had been through something some time ago uh, and then you connect with this person. Not only are they doing inner work, but they're perfecting their skills. In other words, if they were single for some time, they weren't very good. <laughs> they weren't very good at the dating thing. <laughs> so I see that too. So yeah. But I think you can trust your intuition, your inner knowing. I feel this person knows the answers they're seeking. You know, they know. They feel responsible. They could have put more effort in. They focus on work too much and likely in their past. So this is likely what happened with their past relationship too. Too much work, not a focus on the relationship. And, you know, having more romance in a relationship as well. So take care. I wish you the very best here. If you know who this person is, I feel like a lot of you will. There'll be bits and pieces. It'll probably ring true. So just let them take the lead. Okay. Let go of control because that's another thing. Letting go of control. So this can move forward. See, full steam ahead. They're very determined. Strong mind, strong will. So uh, take care and we'll see you soon.